Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog, we're vlogging today, <laughs> as we always do, I wanted to leave at half nine, it's twenty past and I don't think that's going to happen, I've been up since seven, but I guess YouTube got the better of me in bed, so here we are, ten minutes it took to do my makeup because I vlogged when I started and I looked at the clip and it was like ten minutes, twenty three, I think that's pretty impressive, but I'm going to quickly make some food, because I wasn't really when I woke up, but I don't want to go out the house hungry because I'm going to go do a food shop and never do a food shop when you're hungry because you will spend a lot more money than what you need to. <laughs> Put it that way. Um, do I want a bagel or do I want toast? Do I want a quick coffee? Yeah, why not, hey? We're not in any rush. Then because I didn't want to be, last Monday when I vlogged we was out like, I felt like I was out for like three hours. Although we are actually going to have fun today. I cannot get this camera straight. Um, we are going to go have a little bit of fun because we're going to Danau. That's why I haven't been to Danau in so long. Right, let me quickly make this bagel and get it in the toaster. So yeah, I'm thinking we go Danau, B&M, um, just because there's some bits we need. Because I want to go to Danau because if you watched the last vlog, I like tidied, sorted out. I'm just going to call it the front bedroom. It's basically all it is for now. Um, I used to call it my office, but it's not an office. <laughs> my, my filming room, I guess. Um, and I just want to get a, like, a nice basket. And I just also want to have a little browse around Danau and see if there's anything. And I thought I'd bring you guys with me. We'll go to Aldi food shopping and we'll go to B&M. I can do that all in one place. I'm going to go to Kidderminster and I can do it all there. So that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to that and that's our plans for now. But I hope you all had a great weekend. I did. We actually chilled yesterday. I hate weekends where we don't have plans though and we're chilling Saturday and Sunday because come Sunday I'm like, I'm just in a really bad mood. Like I like to be doing stuff. Um, but yesterday we had no 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 saturday we had like a real family day around uh went around dad's and luckily amy was there because normally she's working because she's just at that age now um but yeah so amy and arlo my brother and his girlfriend and then my brother and his girlfriend came back to us and had a barbecue and that was real nice and me and dan just stayed chilling outside all evening with the fire pit which yeah was so nice if you're thinking of getting the fire pit 10 out of 10 recommend yeah and then sunday to be fair we literally did just chill i spent most of the day editing a vlog because i thought if i get it edited tomorrow we can vlog all day today and go out rather than i hate vlogging when i've got to edit because that's just is so boring but right i'm gonna shut up because the kettle is boring <laughs> talking of coffees these i'm just like hooked on these dan has this like proper coffee machine which i got him for christmas i honestly think this is one of the best things i got him i was really skeptical about getting it because obviously they're really expensive and i thought is it a really boring christmas present but i hate just to get him clothes because i also think that's boring so yeah i was really skeptical i was like oh like is he gonna like it he loves it, like he absolutely loves it, so I'm so happy I got it him, but I've just really gone off like proper coffee, I have for like the past, probably like all year to be fair, I don't think I've really had like proper coffee, but when we went camping, we got some of these to add, 
to have because obviously you just need to add hot water although I do top mine it with a little bit of milk and I really really I just love them because it's not I mean it's coffee but it's not like proper coffee is it I don't know why I add the milk it doesn't tell you to like it's probably the wrong thing to do but I feel like it just makes it a bit more creamier and it cools it down although I know you're not supposed to make these with like boiling hot water but oh well I'm gonna curl my hair today because uh, I'm just, I always tie it up and I'm a bit bored of having it straightened, so I thought we'd, we'd curl it. It's very overcast today, in case you wanted a weather update. <laughs> the sunshine has gone, it looks like it's going to rain, and if that's the case, I should probably empty out the fire pit and flip it over because I don't want it to fill it with water. It's not meant to, it's not meant to rain. Right, I'm going to take this back upstairs, eat, and cut my hair. <laughs> we're ready. Well, we're not ready because I need to get dressed. I'm going to quickly uh, voice note my manager regarding something. Well, I uploaded an ad onto TikTok yesterday and then TikTok took it down for community guidelines because apparently it was a scam. It wasn't. It was just a team in hall. <laughs> um, I... Appeal. Oh, oh my god, that's so weird. He just messaged me. That was really weird timing. Really strange timing. Anyway, um, I appealed it. It's back up. It's doing shocking because it was taken down. Morning. Oh my god, really weird timing. I was just about to message you and you messaged me. But I just wanted to quickly out. But I was Lips. Um, I've already got some, but it's come off what I've eaten. This is Nick's new beige, which I love. And I just put a lip balm on recently. I love this one from The Ordinary just because it's like a really nice little size and it's a nice like creamy, as in like the texture, like a creamy lip balm. But I completely forgot about my lip oil. I was just watching Mia's vlog and she was talking about it and I was like, oh my god, I have that somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And obviously, we tidied the makeup drawer out like last vlog. It's going to be in a bag somewhere. The amount of lipsticks and lip liners I've probably got just like sat in bags. It's a bit of a joke. But yeah, I might get Amy it for her birthday. We need to think what we're going to get her. I asked her. She doesn't know. I was like, right, leave it up to me. Because I feel like we could smash her birthday. Flashing you a bit there. She's going to be 17. I think that's a great age. But I just need to, we just need to think what we're going to get her. I was thinking a white fox hoodie. Because I love a white fox hoodie. But I don't know if like white fox is so much her age. I don't know. I feel like it's very much like our age kind of thing. Does that make sense? I don't know. I've never. I know they're expensive. Maybe that's why I've never seen a wear one. But I don't know what to get. How do I get a lots of little bits? I'm not sure. But I need to. I've got until the 22nd, and it's only the fifth today, so we're fine. But I'm gonna get dressed. I don't know what. To, I think I'm gonna wear these trousers actually, because I love them. And then I was thinking I don't have any shoes to go with them, but Gola sent me these. Well, I vlogged it like a month ago, just over a month ago. It's when we got back off holiday, and they actually do go. And then just maybe like a t-shirt, but I'm not sure. I, I love these. Like These are my favourite trainers, but I never wear them because of the colour. They go really nice with blue jeans, but that is about it. So I don't know. These, but... Mm. I don't really love them to be fair. Oh my god, I completely forgot I had these. Oh, actually, they go pretty cool, but I feel like these are more of an autumn trainer. These will probably go, these go with everything to be fair. But these have got the red on the back. I'm ready. Trousers are ASOS. I can find them. I'll link them down below. This is just like a creamy boxy tee from. Bershka bag is Zara and these do go, hence why I went for the, the bag. Different shades of brown, but it's better than a black bag. Perfect. 
don't know what's in my bag <laughs> this much i've got a little shopping bag that i'm glad i'm remembering to take out because me and dan say it like we're sick of paying for plastic bags i mean don't get me wrong it's all good and well <laughs> keeping them in your car but then you take them in the house and then you forget to put them back so i've got this one which is just from timu and if we get anything from now b&m like it's big enough just for like cleaning products and whatnot i'll have my camera in there and my phone and then also just the lip combo i've got on which is a lip balm and the lip liner and that's all and obviously my car keys as well Right, do I want to put any more rings on? Add a bit, a little bit bare. I say it all the time, but my rings are all from accessorise because they're the only ones that fit my fingers. The one thing I will say, they're expensive and they're not worth it. They tarnish. Don't wear them in the shower. Obviously, when I'm washing my hands, I don't take them off because that's so much effort, especially if I'm in a public place. But they sh just for like a quick little hand wash, they shouldn't be looking the way they do and they're not even that old so that's a little bit annoying but from a distance you can't tell watch is from rosefield i.e just when you're on looking for your stories and just the adverts come up got it from there and i got this bracelet from a little independent place um in bromsgrove it was like a card shop type present place um a few weeks ago but we're done probably flick my hair over but for now it will do right let's go um, you're actually on the uh big tripod because i wanted to quickly film an otd but i like to do it on my camera because i have you can probably tell a wide lens camera no a wide a wide lens on my camera so it just makes the shot better so yeah could be awful could not upload it but i just really want to get into instagram really want to get into instagram i've just been feeling really guilty because it's done a lot of brand work on Instagram and I just hate it when it's add, 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 add. So yeah, I wanna just upload some organic content and I'm thinking like just OOTDs. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you this. So yeah, let's go. I'm gonna go get some big food shop bags for when we pop to Aldi. Yeah, BRB. <laughs> Also guys, I don't know if I've said this on vlog yet, but me and Kirsty's actually got Billy Eilish tickets for next year. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't wait. I'm so excited. She's been like number one on my list for years. And I'm so, like, I've seen Harry, I've seen Taylor, Billy, and then the last one for me would be Adele. And then like, there's no, like I've done it. Maybe Florence and the Machine, someone I'd like to see in concert, but bucket lists of artists would be done for Birdell. Like, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I bet you forgot how much of a banger this song was. This necklace has been in my car for so long. <laughs> so it's finally time to put it back on. I put it in because I was, meant, I was in a rush and I was like, oh, I'll put it on when I get in the car. But, um, never did obviously I need to figure out what the app is and download it the decals and all I feel like it's always kind of like same old hair I mean we haven't come for decor so that's okay but I will say the eucalyptus from here is unreal like it's just a foe have they still got it oh here it is we have it in the house it looks really really nice the cushions are so nice here. I love this one for upstairs. But it's £25. I don't know if I want to spend that. This one's a little bit cheaper. I also love this one. I think I might get a cushion just to add some colour, but I don't know which one to get. I'm thinking one of these. I'm thinking maybe the smaller one because I know it will fit. But I'll only really get one blanket in there. I love these colourful mugs, but I wish they had like a pinky one or an orange one. So you could get like one of each, but like in a set of four, that would be pretty cool. But look what I've just spotted. So blooming cool. I also like the aesthetics of these, but I don't really know what it means. 
I never thought I'd want yellow bedding, but I look like I've fallen in love with this for like autumn, winter. I do also have a green version, which I'm going to keep it in mind. I've taken a picture of it and kind of look at it against the bedroom when I get home. I only got a cushion from Dinan, which to be fair, it's a gorgeous cushion and that itself will add a lot of colour to the room. But I want to find like a nice diffuser. Next, have some really nice little um, autumn decor in that mug. How sweet is that? And that blanket, but I've already got one of these, which I think they're such gorgeous diffusers, but we just need oil for it. So I'm just gonna pick this up. We've got two at home, so we should do them both. I also love this here, is it a cushion, I think? I mean, I think it's a bit too modern for our house, but I think it's gorgeous. This one as well with the little ghost is so sweet. I've got like half an hour left. Well, no, maybe like 35 minutes left on the car. 40 minutes left on the car, so I'm gonna make a real quick shopping list and then pop into Aldi. Let's put the aircon on though because it's boiling. <laughs> right, what do we want for dinner this week? Why is it always so hard to like figure it out? It has been a while since the food shop was in the 20s. Albeit, this is all we've got. We're out for dinner on Tuesday and Friday. Well, me and Zana are out together on Tuesday, I'm out Friday. Dan loves what he calls a boy dinner and just he will decide in the moment what he wants um, but this is just everything we picked up we've got potatoes fruit fish because I just want to start eating more fish because we just eat chicken a lot um, and I love it in parsley sauce that we're gonna have with skin on potatoes red onion tuna ham pistachios these look real good pepper, snacker jacks, a pizza just for the freezer, just because it was such a small food shop. I was like, I'm just gonna pick that to go up and to go into the freezer. Steak, two garlic baguettes, some tender scents, some crumpets, and that's all. I'm currently making myself some pasta for lunch. But um yeah, it's really small. We've got fish and parsley sauce with tender stem and potatoes tonight tomorrow we've got we're, tomorrow we're out wednesday we've got jacket potatoes cheese and beans which we have all of that already and chicken burgers which we have that in the freezer thursday we have got steak wraps and then yeah friday not here so really nice small little food shop dan has also completely cooked sugar out his diet which I'm not talking about like we're talking sugars and food, but in terms of like sweet treats, he's not, he's just not doing it. I think he struggled the first couple of days, but once your body gets used to it, it's like, you're all right. Um, and he's noticed such a difference because he said he was feeling really like tired and like a foggy head and just grumpy and tired. And he said he feels so much better since he's cooked sugar out. It's been about two weeks almost now. No, it's definitely been two weeks for him and I've not done it intentionally because I'm not I'm not cutting sugar out completely like I don't think I personally could but I'm definitely eating less like yesterday I didn't have a single sweet treat so just trying to be better have fruit instead and I always forget how young fruit is and I've got cherries and mangoes they're like my favorite fruits so I'm just I guess being a little bit more just like cautious I'd rather just have bigger meals and not snack um, or if I do snack it'd be savoury. Like I say, I'm not cutting it out completely, especially when I saw these. These look right up my street. But I'm just trying not to go OTT and picking up more savoury snacks for the house instead of sweet like pistachios, snacker jacks. If Dan's hungry on an evening, he'll just make himself a crumpet um, instead of where he'd normally have like biscuits or whatever. So yeah, I should probably push that spaghetti down. <laughs> Made myself a bit of a carbonara like lunch but i've just used ham spaghetti with cheese basically that's all it is i've just quickly scraped my hair up because it was annoying me and i don't think it looks better like this but this is the cushion i went for and i i'm so glad should we put it on the sofa i had a white box basket come this morning as well oh my god yes Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, I love it so much. I think just like the one big one, because obviously we had these two before. That's so cute. I need to take the label off it. And 
yeah, when I was in Denham, I was like, hang on, wait, we have a basket rather than me spending £20 on one. So I want to go find that as well. I think it's in the, just that room that's going to end up being the utility. But I don't know what to do with these. I might see if Amy wants this one. Oh, <laughs> you're very wonky. And then I got sent this one in PR. But I said to Dan, I was like, how cute would this look in a little girl's room? Not pregnant, let alone have a little girl. So <laughs> it's literally no use to me, but I want to keep it. Uh, I mean, it's only little, and I'll definitely find somewhere to store it. This is when I just forget about it, to be fair. Probably will. But um, yeah, it's so cute. I love it. So I'm going to keep that one. And then, yeah, I'm going to see if Amy wants this one. I don't know if she will. But yeah. Well, end of an era, we've had this one a very long time. It was from Typo, but like a good few years ago. Yay! Oh my god, love. Um, and then I also picked up, because I was going to pick up a little diffuser from Danelle, but it came to me and I was like, oh my god, I have those next ones that just don't have oils in them that I can just top up and use that instead. So I paid £14 for this, although she scanned it and it said 16 but she gave it to me for 14, obviously, because I said 14. Um, so got that. Um, okay, we're not keeping it. I just wanted to, well, I might if I love it, but I just wanted to bring it home to try it on. TK Maxx. You guys aren't even ready for how good it was. I didn't vlog in there because I went to go look at the home stuff. Home stuff was a bit naff. They just have like candles. But then I had a quick flick through the um, clothes. I think I'm going to return this that I picked up because of the shoulders but I do just love denim at the minute so I found this. I really want this to be a dress, like I just want it to fit as a dress. I got small, why did I not see if there was like a medium or, or a large? But I really hope it fits as a dress. I mean I'd put cycling shorts underneath but I think it'll be really nice if it does. This is the one I'm not sure of it's obviously it's from it's from tk maxx but it's zara and i paid 9.99 for it and i thought it could look quite nice with white cycling shorts potentially coming up to only 9.99 i don't know i just thought it was pretty cool i liked the vibes and then these oh my gosh were these 12.99 yeah <gasps> they're such a me trouser do they look like pyjama bottoms? Absolutely. But I am just obsessed with them. <sighs> they're so nice and they're so soft. I don't know what the brand is. Oh, it's Join Life. That's like Shadavarius and Zara and all that, isn't it? But that's the actual brand. But I just think they're so nice. Literally with this outfit that I've got on today and these trousers, like, oh, I, just, I just love it. These trousers are so soft. Ready? They fit so nicely too. Like, am I gonna wear these tomorrow? Absolutely I am. I can definitely get away with it being a dress. I'll just wear these little white cycling shorts and underneath. But <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Like I love it so much. Like honestly, love it so so much. I think this is my favourite thing I've bought in like the longest time and it was only 19.99. I also did try on the blue denim jacket with the trousers and I liked it. It was the first time I'd worn the jacket that I said I was going to send back with something that goes and it did kind of look nice. Guys, I love this one. I didn't think I would. Obviously, I wouldn't wear a white t-shirt underneath. I just can't believe it was $9.99. Like, this is exactly how I'd wear it with the cycling shorts. And I love it. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got from white pants. I can't actually remember. I was really like torn of what size to get. What did I go for in the end? I got XS slash X. Oh, I'm glad I did. Wow, that's so nice. So this is the front of it. And then this is the back of it. How cool is that? Should we try it on? Oh, I'm so glad I stick to my size. I mean, I don't know if it's cute, I can't see it. Let me go look. Cute. 
not this outfit, but uh, with some cycling shorts, that is proper nice. Dan is home. I've just been editing some um, TikTok content that I got earlier, but here is dinner. We're doing, we're doing so well at sitting at the table. I'm proud, I'm proud of us, exactly. Two nights in a row. <laughs> no, it's been like since Friday. I think, we've done, I think we've done three dinners here. I'm proud of us. But we've just got potatoes, fish, parsley sauce, tender stem, and garlic bread, which I've not really eaten much garlic bread to be fair recently. You normally yeah. like smash most of it. Yeah. And I have like one piece, but yeah, there is tonight's dinner. Hi. Wow. Two, I've got two parcels that I'm taking upstairs that are for me to you, the, the, your powder. Um, they've sent me some more goodies. I actually don't know what they've sent me, so I thought we'd open it together on vlog because <laughs> oh, I feel like at this point you all know how much I love your powder. And they've actually just very, very kindly renewed my contract, which I'm actually bringing over to YouTube. Which is why I believe they've sent me more products, but I don't know what's in here. So I'm excited to get trying them, or might already have them in their top-ups. This bit isn't an ad, by the way. <laughs> I am working with them in the future, just not right now. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. They've sent me more Calm Balm and Bubble Double, which I'm buzzing about because I was getting low on the Calm Balm. So we've got top-ups of my faves. Oh, they've sent me my whole skincare. Routine, the Repair Hero and the Glow Hero as well. Oh, what's this? The Dewy Day Refill. And this as well. Is it a headband? I love the colour of it. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, does it tie? I think it does. That's actually so cute. I love that colour so much. Okay, so that's like makeup removal skincare that I use. I think I was working the last vlog, I've got like a new like no makeup routine that I do with their products that I love. But I was definitely needing top ups on this stuff, so I'm buzzing about that. Not so much the bubble double, I've still got like half a bottle at least. Um, but the calm balm, like I say, we were running low. Oh my gosh, this is all new stuff. I'm so excited. We've got loads of these chewy day refills. I need to figure out what that is. Oh my goodness, there's there's so much in here. Oh my god, it's a new moisturiser. It's a bed one. I've got a purple one, which is like a lavender one, but this one's aloe vera. Oh my god, damn, I love this. I've not seen that one before. That might be a new one. I'm not sure. Um, oh my god, there's the day, there's the night light and the daylight. So that's going to be a day moisturiser. Oh my god, is this the yellow SPF? Because this is new and I've wanted to try this. Oh my god, it is, it is, it is. How cool is this? It's like SPF 30, SPF 30. It's like a balm. That kept coming up on my Instagram and I was really wanting to try that. And here we go. This is the Juvie Make My Day. Moisturising apricot cushion foundation. What? Oh my god, look. It's the packaging of everything. The dewy day. Oh, and that's why maybe I've got so many. Are they different shades? SPF 30 as well. Yes. Look, different shades. That all makes sense. N4, N3, and N1. Do we have an N2? No? Maybe not. Oh my god, this is so exciting, and there's loads of like different multi balm refills as well. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm like a little kid in a toy shop right now. I just, I need to go in the shower, is what I need to do. Right, you guys, you probably know my skincare routine by now. I'm gonna go grab the bits anyway to go during the shower, but I'm gonna get working on this, get trying it all out, and then hopefully soon, maybe in the next vlog, because I'm gonna weekly vlog next week, I'll have a proper routine for you guys. But Oh God, I'm so excited to try the makeup you bit. <laughs> oh, love it. I should also have a discount code come in. Well, I, I will because they do that. Really kind of giving me discount codes. And they're normally like decent ones, I think. They're normally like 20 to 30% off. So I'd say go shop, but 
you might want to wait for the discount. But at this point, I literally have literally my own. Your part just getting care for. Mm -hmm. Just to keep that taking the shower with me. But I am going to quickly go jump in the shower and then I'll be back. <laughs> BRB. All nice and clean. I've also got my favourite pyjamas on ever, which are from Timu. They're like, honestly, the softest, comfiest PJs ever. I just, I honestly love them so much. I actually want to see if they've got any more. Um, the same as this fabric. I want to try and find it because it's just, I can't explain it. It's just real soft um, and real nice. But I'm going to go downstairs and have a cup of tea and a snack. And I don't know what to do this evening. I I don't know, me and I aren't really watching anything at the minute, so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just going to chill maybe. I'm going to try one of those rainbow things that I bought because I'm really curious to see if they're good. I hope that they are, because that would make me happy. I think they're new, I've never seen them before. They did like a, a peanut bar version as well. Cool, great chat. Huh? Oh, it's all yeah. <laughs> they did like a peanut bar one as well. Yeah. Yep. Mm, the sashos are good. Why are they in shells like that? Why don't they de shell them for you? Mm, true. This is giving, um, what's it called? The cereal. Yeah. That's what it's meant Captain to be, Crunch. isn't it? Is it? No. <laughs> Get of an M. I don't know what they're called. Oh, it's um, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. This is what it's giving. I reckon he's going to be good. Day. Yeah. They're a little bit of me. Nice. Mmm. Okay. I think it's a 10. 10? I don't see how it could be better. is so bad because oh it's even worse now what'd you say <laughs> i was vlogging I can't see shit, right? yeah you just turn the light off that's why yeah. could you just turn my back up <laughs> so i can do my outro please thank you I just came to end the vlog. We've just had a really chilled evening, which has actually been quite nice, to be fair. I mean, quite nice. We have a chilled evening every single night, pretty much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm planning on weekly vlogging the rest of this week, so like Tuesday to Sunday. So that should hope hopefully be live soon. I also had a big H&M parcel come earlier. So a haul will be up on Sunday as well. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon for another video. Goodbye guys.